This is a patient who came in with leukocytosis, some back pain, and there's a lot going on in this case. And so let's look at this CAT scan of the axial plane with intravenous contrast. As you scroll down to sort of the mid-abdomen, we can see that this patient is uh, post-aortic um, graft placement for an aneurysm, and that graft doesn't look too well. We can see that the shape is quite irregular. Posteriorly, a portion of the graft is missing, and we see all these foci of gas within this uh, excluded sac over here. And so that's highly concerning for infection. We can see that in the psoas muscles, there are these rim-enhancing collections containing gas as well. And the goal then is to sort of figure out what's going on, what's sort of the epicenter, and what's causing all this infection. And we can then look on the um, sagittal view. I think this shows you really nicely. Right in that area, we can see a portion of that graft side has been eroded. There's gas that's going into it. We can see that the end plates of L3 and L4 are uh, very irregular. There's erosions. There's areas of lucencies. We said there's gas in that disc space. These findings are highly, highly concerning for discitis, osteomyelitis. And in this case, that's infected the graft. That's eroded a portion of the graft. And that's resulted in these psoas abscesses that are tracking uh, downwards uh, within the left psoas muscle.